Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asus War is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video we'll check out some highlights for March 23. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them to see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination, I can immediately picture all the kinds of games that I could build. This one is a list of paid asset effects, I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and best tools and systems. As always there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, something I haven't mentioned in a while since I was busy with GDC, Unity has been giving away free assets every week. There is a publisher on sale every week and it always includes an asset you can get for free with a coupon. This week it's a very realistic spider you can get with the coupon Game Studio. This publisher has tons of very realistic looking animals. I think this one ends tonight so there won't be a new one tomorrow. And right now they also have the arcade sale running. Lots of assets to help you make some kind of arcade game. So you got some car physics, some damage numbers, a bunch of particles gamepad buttons, environments, and a bunch more. Alright, so starting off with a really interesting crafting pack. It features a nice realistic fantasy style, tons of unique crafting stations and lots of tools. Looking at this makes me want to build a quick prototype of some kind of crafting blacksmith shop simulator. Then for some particles, here are some gorgeous looking stylized boost rails. This one would be perfect for so many scenarios. Maybe you're making a game kind of like Sonic with a super fast character, maybe a car with this effect while drifting, maybe some magic bolts, or really some projectiles. If your game is character based, then look at this huge character pack. It features 500 assets, so you have a whole bunch of body shapes and a whole ton of attachments. You've got hats, masks, backpacks, gloves. Looking at this really makes me want to make a multiplayer game with tons of character customization. So for example, you could follow my free multiplayer course and add this pack with all this customization to all those characters. Then if you already have the characters, here are a bunch of really great auras. All of them are really gorgeous looking, really well-made particle systems. They've got lots of colors so they can represent whatever you want. Or perhaps you're making a sci-fi game. Here are a bunch of great looking planets. This one is an AGRP pack, so all of the planets have tons of maps to make them look really great. It includes features, animated clouds and storms. It includes city maps, atmospheres and a bunch more. If you need some animations, here is a really great ninja pack. So like the name implies, this includes a bunch of katana animations and also some stealth animations like sneaking around, hugging a wall, stealing something or doing some assassinations. As usual, it's a great pack by this dev and if you like it, then this dev has tons more. Up next, here is the latest synthy pack. This one is all about elves with some medieval fantasy. As usual, it's in their gorgeous low poly style. Personally, I love medieval fantasy. Lord of the Rings is one of my favorite worlds in media, so I definitely want to find some time to use this pack to make some fun prototypes. Then here's a pretty unique one, some animated emojis. It features 90 of them, so lots of variation. This could be used in so many ways. Maybe you could use them to add some animations to your text, or maybe just some emoticons. This is an easy way to add some fun communication to your games. Up next, if you want to make a gorgeous stylized world, here is a nice cloud and sky pack. I've said many times how changing the sky is one of the simplest things you can do that will have a huge impact in your games. Just changing the sky makes a huge difference. It features 9 skyboxes and 25 cloud textures. For another animation pack, here is one with a ton of parkour animations. Features 60 animations, so you've got lots of vaults, some sprinting animations, ledge climbs and drops. You can do a bunch of flips and a whole bunch more. Could be interesting to experiment with making a climbing system kind of like Assassin's Creed. Then for a gorgeous environment, here is a fantasy woodland. Very bright, saturated colors. Everything looks really inviting. It features over 200 models, including two pre-built demo scenes. So if you need an environment, just pick this up and use it. Or maybe you need some peasants and citizens. Here is a nice modular pack. It features a male, a female and a baby body type. There's one single base color texture so it's all very performant. With all these parts you can really make endless variation. If instead your game uses some vehicles then check out this one. It features some really nice looking models. Looking at these makes me want to go remake Command & Conquer Generals. That was a great game. It includes all kinds of vehicles. You've got tanks, planes, helicopters, boats and even a bunch of soldiers. For some 2D here is a tile set for an isometric village. It's a huge pack with 600 hand-drawn assets. They are optimized to work with Unity's built-in isometric tile mapper so it's very easy to just pick this up and start building. Then here's a whole bunch of mesh effects. In total 16 effects that perfectly match up to any mesh you want. You have some fire, ice, arcane, mist, nature and a bunch more. Then for an entire low poly army look at this one. 
you've got tons and tons of models for a pretty low price, you can change the colors and have even more variation. Next for some UI, look at this great looking one, features some super high quality pixel art, you've got lots of menus, so perfect for any kind of RPG, and also includes 70 icons. Then here are a bunch of aim indicators, with included hit detection, it includes some flat indicators, a bunch of multi shots, a bunch of parabolic targets, all of them dynamic, so it tests the target and adapts the visual. If you're interested in racing games, here is a pack with a whole bunch of cars, it's very obviously inspired by the Fast and the Furious, you've got multiple variations for each cars, and also includes a bunch of props like traffic cones and tool boots. Or maybe you just need some very high quality currency icons, look at this one, you've got tons of coins with all kinds of icons and objects, both in gold and silver, so these can represent whatever you want, so it could be money, it could be metals, could be EXP, or really anything. Alright, so those are my top 20 new visual assets on the Unity S store for March 23. There's a link to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, check out my own free and paid on the store. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.